Well, thank you. Um, the South Pacific Data and Information Network in support of Integrated Coastal Area Management, um, SPINCAM is the acronym of this project, um, is currently um, implementing in, in the South Pacific, not in the Caribbean region. Uh, we have five uh, countries, uh, Panama, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Chile. Two of these uh, countries, of course, are also part of the Caribbean, Colombia and Panama, and that is why the link with this uh, project. Also because this project is uh, sponsored by IOC, UNESCO, and by the government of Flanders. Well, um, the objective of SPINC and two is to support the development of decision-making tools and implementation of ICANN through improved data and information management capacity, knowledge, communication, and networking at national and regional level. There are uh, four specific objectives, as you can see, to strengthen the national and regional ICANN indicators frameworks, to integrate national marine coastal data and information systems, to design and implement a strategy on the ICANN indicator framework for local and regional actors, and to promote continuous training to strengthen institutional capacities, the use of indicator-based assessment. So in this moment, uh, every country has their own set of uh, coastal indicators, and also uh, we are developing uh, six new uh, regional indicators, including biodiversity, um, some social uh, social indicators, um, <coughs> fisheries, etc. Well, we have uh, two relevant products, and um, like a product of the implementation of the SPINCAM project. The first one is the Geoportal SPINCAM, in which uh, is the is a graphic representation of these this ICANN indicators, and uh, besides the indicators, is also uh, environmental information on, uh, marine, on marine biodiversity integrated <coughs> to the uh, indicator data. Uh, and also, there is another online tool, CBMAP, is the information information system on marine biodiversity, um, which is, which is uh, a Google, Google Maps based and includes information on cetaceans, sea turtles, sharks, and marine protected areas. These uh, tools both are online and free accessible for, for people. And um, I would like also to mention that the SPINCAM, uh, as you can see in this map, the scale is, is, is very small because uh, we use the like uh, uh, administration unit municipalities. So it's possible to get information to this scale on, on all um, indicators in this moment developing is uh, are working at this scale. Well, uh, regarding the information technology and platform, this uh, Geoportal SPINCAM is based on a Smart Atlas application. As you see, you see other uh, uh, specific topics related with the technology. is JavaScript, Open Access Maps, and ProsgreSol as database. We have a Linux CentOS 5 server. And also, um, there are um, around 20 different layers on information from open sources. Mm -hmm. These layers are related with environment, climate, and uh, temperature, etc. Well, um, and regarding data and information sharing, uh, we can offer to the CMA2 project I was our lessons learned on these items, definition on data standards that we have seen is very complicated issue, the establishment of our regional spatial data infrastructure, definition and implementation of national and regional indicators. As I mentioned, it, we have um, developed, in this case, uh, around 10 different regional indicators and also at, at national level or other different sets of indicators. And uh, also on training the right or wrong technicians, because this is an issue. Usually our institution has 
are all the time changing technicians, so every time we have to define more specific uh, profile for the people who who have to attend the meeting the meetings in order to maintain the capacity in the national institutions involved in the speak and, in the speak and project well um, regarding collaborative activity, activities um, we offer exchange of experiences and develop in development of ICANN indicators uh, we are using, for example, the fact sheet model used by the Pegaso project in the in the Mediterranean region, which has been very important because offer a, a common uh, framework um, for the for the indicators. Uh, also, communication mechanisms to reach the stakeholders at different levels with the right message. Uh, we can also conduct joint. Uh, training activities, for example, the Smart Atlas. We are providing this month uh, training on Smart Atlas and in, in our base in Guayaquil. And also explore the possibility to access maps and GIS that data between the regions via internet, WMS format, for example. So this kind of, of experience, expertise can be shared with you. I think that's it. Okay, for that. Thank you very much. Yes. And, um...